Welcome back to an all new episode of Construction Secrets with me, David Windsor. You got blue here too. As always, you can go over to davidwindsor.com, get your free downloadable templates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this YouTube channel with your friends. Those templates are free. All I ask, all I, all I ask in exchange is that you guys like, subscribe, and share this. That'd be much appreciated. For those of you that don't know, my name is David Windsor. Uh, I'm a contractor here in Park City, Utah. We're building multi-million dollar homes. We've been in business for 18 months. And in those short 18 months, we've accumulated $15 million worth of work. So we're growing and I'm here just documenting the process and sharing some of the things that I learned working for a multi-billion dollar construction company, commercial contractor in the state of Utah. So I'm implementing a lot of the things I learned from the commercial world into the residential world. And it's been a great success so far with our business. And my goal is just to document some tips and tricks and things that we use within our company. And hopefully it can help you along the way of your construction journey. Today, I just wanna talk about getting organized and making sure that there's a system in place that everyone can follow. There is no right answer. I'm gonna come out with some more videos on site showing you what I do on our particular job site so you can follow along with that and see it real time in the field. But for today, I wanna to just talk about the organization of your job site and everyone that comes on your job site should know exactly what happens it should be a system that everyone follows and everyone understands and everyone knows and so if uh, one of your trade partners you know they bring a new guy a new guy in the crew and he comes along and he you know walks in the house he knows what happens I mean it's easily translatable to individuals that are new to the job site and so you know, there's a couple ways of doing it. You know, if you want to get a little more te technologically advanced, you can you can get QR codes. QR codes are super simple to order online. You know, for I don't even know for 20 QR codes, it's 20 bucks or something. They're super cheap. Um, and then the QR code can just link to a spreadsheet or to you know a Word document or something with a to-do list for your subcontractors. It can link to the drawings, the documents. Um, it, it can it can pr provide a lot of things for individuals. Um, that are you know on the job site in addition you know QR codes can just provide like the punch list items that need to be done for that particular job so QR codes are a great way when people walk in it says HVAC electrical you know plumbing all that stuff and they can just scan their own QR code they can see their punch list they can see the to-do items they can see the selections um, we keep it a little more simple because um, simplicity is I mean not everyone's technologically advanced in the construction industry. I mean, we still have trade partners that are that have flip phones. So a QR code would be nothing to them. So you gotta find something that's kind of fail safe, fail proof. And so they, what we do is we, you know, when, we, when you walk in on the big sliding glass doors, we have a big sheet of paper. And on the sheet of paper, we have a marker taped to each sheet of paper. And I mean, this thing's massive. It's a, you know, five foot tall piece of paper. And we literally just write out the trades, HVAC, plumbing this that and and then we say you know bedroom 101 fix light above you know bed and fix light you know next to slider and then we label every room bit for the drawings 101 102 103 and so when they walk in they know exactly what room we're talking about it says move the light and then they can physically go and cross that item off the list those are things that are just simple to do and and so when someone walks into that room as well we have laminated and stapled or taped to the wall depending on what section of construction you're in we've we've put in the plans the finished selections the tiles the patterns um the specifications for like the bathtub or the fireplace um the finished schedules so when someone walks into the master bedroom 101 in addition to just labeling the room, we label where everything goes, we put it up on the wall, we have the plans, we have the elevations, we have the cabinet plans, we have all those things dialed in so when someone walks into one of our job sites, they know exactly where they go. They go to the big sliding glass windows and there's gonna be a list of the things that they gotta check off and then they can physically take that marker and they can cross it off. So when I come in later that day or tomorrow or the next day, whatever it is, or our superintendent comes in, they can see what has been done and what hasn't been done. And they can say, hey, Mr. Plumber, I see we haven't moved that drain line. Why? In better, well, there's a problem with it. Oh, cool. Or I just haven't gotten around to it. Make sure that everyone sees the list and then you can add to the list, you know, and the HVAC guys can give the plumber a suggestion or something that they got to do because they got to move something for their trade. So 
you just want to keep it simple whether you use qr codes whether you use technology whether you have plans whether you have something but like when everyone walks in your job site they should know what's going on it eliminates mistakes these things take a little bit of time up front so it's going to take you an hour to make these lists to laminate these things to print out the plans to go set them up it takes you an hour to do that um versus you know tens of hours when you got to patch drywall you got to repair stuff you gotta you know you gotta move you gotta get the trade partner back there you gotta call me you gotta get back in their schedule because there was a mistake made so mistakes can be eliminated if you communicate up front and have you know meetings and um, conversations with individuals as well as a system inside your job sites that's gonna make sure everything is dialed in man look at this view look at this as I come in ain't that something so that's the Park City Resort the Canyon side of the Park City Mountain Resort it is just beautiful so we are here blue and I are here blue hey smile for the camera buddy blue and I are here in Park City Utah once again my name is David Windsor you can go over to davidwindsor.com get your free downloadable templates as always I appreciate you guys um, don't forget to like subscribe and share this and I'm just trying to bring the construction industry up as a whole and I hope that these videos can help and leave some comments below some systems that you use on your job sites and how we can all grow together and how I can learn from you as well. Once again, I really appreciate you guys. I can't thank you enough for watching these videos and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.